Begin by locating the signup HUD in your inventory and wearing it. Once the signup HUD is loaded, click in the bottom right corner to create your account. Your account is created and you are assigned a temporary password shown in floating text and in local chat. You'll also be prompted to log into the administration website. Once you click the login button, click the Go To Page button. Once you've entered your login credentials, you'll begin the setup wizard. Click Next to proceed. The first step is to change your temporary password to a real password you'll remember. Click Next to continue. On this page, enter the name of your store and select a four-digit security PIN number. Keep track of this number as you'll need it later. Click Next to continue. On this page, click the Deliver Account Manager button, then return to your Second Life viewer. Accept the Account Manager object, res it, and then click to enable it. You'll see an online message in local chat and a prompt reminding you that you can now remove the signup HUD. Return to the website and click Next to allow the system to verify your Account Manager is online. This step tells you to use the Account Manager's menu to get the remainder of the system software. Click Next. Return to Second Life and click the Account Manager. Select Get Latest from the menu, and the box will be delivered to you. Res the box from your Objects folder, then unpack the box. Res the Inventory Server from the Unpacked folder. Note that the Inventory Server can be resed anywhere in World. It doesn't have to reside on the same region as any of your store locations. For example, you may elect to keep the inventory server on a private region. Edit the inventory server and open the server settings note card. Add your four digit security pin and then save the note card. Click the server and after a moment it will show online. You've now completed the minimum setup required to run any number of store locations. The account manager is online and connects the admin website to your in-world objects. The inventory server is online and provides a central repository for all your sellable products. Please note that this one inventory server is all you need to support any number of store locations. Next we'll look at setting up a store. Note that these steps apply to any store location, whether it's a permanent main store, a satellite store, or just a few vendors at an event location. First, res the controller object anywhere on the region you wish to have vendors. Distance from the vendors doesn't matter. You can res it under the floor, behind a wall, or even in the sky. The controller will be offline when first resed. Next, edit the controller and open the controller settings note card. Add your four digit security pin and save the note card. If you plan on having multiple store locations, you'll find it convenient to take a copy of the controller at this point and use this copy for other locations, so that you won't need to edit the settings note card each time you res a new one. Click the controller to enable it, then click the Allow Access button on the Debit Permissions dialog. Debit permissions are required to provide automated refunds under certain circumstances. Next, res a prim to act as a test vendor. Set the Prim's name property to the exact name of one of your boxed products. Set the Prim's description property to have at least a price using the letter P, a colon, and then the price. Drop the vendor script onto the vendor Prim or in the content tab of the edit dialog. The vendor will show an online message in local chat. Note that the vendor does not need to contain a copy of the actual product being sold. Return to the inventory server. Edit the server using Edit Linked Parts and select any one of the provided storage boxes. Place a copy of your boxed product into the storage box's inventory, not into the server's root prim. You can now purchase from your test vendor. Right click and select Pay. The box product will be delivered to you. 
you'll now notice that the inventory server shows one delivery. You've now completed a basic store setup.